CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Um, no more than normal, I would guess. Um, a loss is a loss. Um, it's just very, very disappointing at this stage. Um, I think always in a loss, uh, in, you know, good reflection is, is always important. Um, hopefully making good decisions. Um, and finding out to, uh, how to improve yourself for the next game. Um, obviously, we moved to a new part of the country, new conditions, and we need to be able to adapt to that. So, you know, I think it's just wise head, good leadership. And, um, you know, as I say, the side has a lot of good references to fall back on. Even though the last four days has been really disappointing, I think that uh, there's enough confidence there to uh, help us um, in the next game. Okay. Um. Um, I know you've got a lot to think about, but what's the most disappointing part? Of the um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I guess we just never hit our straps in any department throughout the four days. Um, so it's sort of throughout the four days, we had little mishaps through illness, injury, niggles, everything just seemed to uh, n not fall into line. and. And ultimately, uh, we allowed Australia to play cricket on the front foot, and we know that when they do that, that they're a very dominant team, um, no matter what, what team it is, what Aussie team it is. So, uh, you know, we need to look at ourselves. I think at 100 for four in the first innings, we had a real opportunity. We weren't able to take that opportunity, and then from then on in, we were under pressure. Graham, where does that display of fast bowling just um, rank things you've seen and faced? And as a captain, how do you, I guess, prepare your players um, tactically or you know motivationally for, for you know, facing something like that? Um, well, as I say, I think his reference points is always important. I think all of us have had success against Mitchell also. Um, there's no doubt that he was the difference in this game. Um, he bowled a superb spell. Um, and he's obviously in form and he's hot at the moment and we need to find a way to curb that and, and, and put him under pressure. Um, I think the condu conditions uh, certainly suited his style of bowling um, and he was able to extract every bit of life and, and uncertainty out of that wicket, um, which in turn put us under an immense amount of pressure. So I must say credit to him for the way that he performed in this game. Okay. Ben, there were a few disappointments in terms of player personnel. Can you already foresee changes for the next test? Uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure how to answer that question. You obviously know things I don't. Uh, Graham, four five days till next test. Do you think it's not, it's, it's enough to, to rectify the mental scarring from from here? Well, I mean, I, I doubt there's much mental scarring. We've lost a game of cricket, and we, yeah, we've been beaten comprehensively. Um, but it's important now that um, we we move we move away, and obviously still a two big test matches left in this series and we need to make sure that we perform really well in the next one. Um, that's our focus. Uh, I think, as I said earlier, it's important to reflect well. Um, it's important to make good decisions. Um, and as I've, as I've said, the side has a lot of confidence. It has a lot of reference points. Um, again, we've started a test match series very slowly. Um, I feel that even though it's been very disappointing, this game will, will benefit us going into the next game. I do believe that. I think our bowlers have got good time in their legs um, and hopefully will be at a, lo a lot higher intensity going into the next game. Um, and uh, from a batting perspective, I think we've got some good things to talk about. Um, and if we can post some good totals, which we've been able to do for a very long time, then we'll have the ability to put ours under pressure. Graham, uh, I think you referred during the uh, warm-up game about uh, sort of Australia's wanting to talk themselves up and using a lot of bravado. Um, they clearly backed it up in in this game, how much do you think that, that confidence as I said earlier, I think they, you know, when they get on the front foot in a game of cricket, you know, they, they're a very good front-running team. You know, they play that way; that's their nature, um, and uh, they certainly have outplayed us in this game. Um, I think it's important not to always get caught up in the, the stuff that's going around and focus on yourselves and see where you can get yourself right. Um, I think as a team, we've had a lot of success, as I've said before. We've also faced a lot of tough times. You know, we lost the, the first test match against Pakistan in Abu Dhabi not so long ago, had the ability to bounce back. So it's just about being smart now and making sure we train well over the next few days and, and make the right decisions. Did you get the feeling like they were, as a team, when you were at the bay, that you, they were sort of swarming? 
Um, no different to any other time that I've played Australia. Um, and I think always when you're a team that's on the back foot, things start to go your way. Unbelievable catches, balls at the crack and they're straight. So, you know, being the front runner team, things do go your way and we've got to find a way to turn that around. You, you, know, you mentioned unbelievable catches and you were obviously a victim of that today, but how did you compare, I guess, the general feeling between yourselves and Australia? Because they just look at the cut above the whole game. Yeah, as I said, every department they outplayed us in this game and you know, there's no excuses from our side. We were, we were comprehensively beaten over the last four days and we've got to be man enough to admit to that and, and make no excuses, but we've got to find a way to respond and that's, that's the goal now. Um, you mentioned uh, decision, decision making. Um, the, the toss on the first day, was that based mostly on how you read the pitch or was that based on, on the stats given to you by the coach? <laughs> um, to be honest with you, it was oh, very undecided on day one, um, and now, obviously, in hindsight, definitely would have made a different decision. Um, but uh, made the decision that the team felt was 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 best, you know, on, in terms of what we knew of the wicket. In terms of, I don't think we've ever seen the wicket play like it did in this game, um, you know. And if at 100 for four, it was looking like a good decision. Um, ultimately, I think where we need to look at ourselves and be honest is that we were found wanting in the skills department. Um, and if we had played good cricket and had the stamina to, to take our opportunities, um, it might be different. But ultimately we didn't, and uh, Australia did. Awesome. Just, do you want to inject, do you generally consider the barometer of uh, how well the team's playing? Your experience of watching the play for South Africa for good since South Africa for good before it, Oh, um, I've played a lot, so <laughs> I'm digging into some, some big archives. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to get into comparing. Uh, uh, you know, we were, just, we were just disappointing all round, and I've said that already. Um, so, yeah, I think the keys for us is to, to respond now. That's the only way that, um, that we can. Um, did Ryan have anything to say about um, being hit in the head these um, well, I mean, it looks like he's been scrumming for about three days with Bucky's and Victor um, before the Super 15, but he's, he's all right. I mean, he's a, he's a tough boy. Um, and as I say, those are part and parcel of, of, what, of what you deal with as a batsman. Um, so, yeah, no, he's, he's not fussed at all, I don't think. Um, can I just go back to Mitchell Johnson and ask you, you say that you, you need to find a way to curb him and put him under pressure. He's expanded a little bit on that. How do you do that? Um, well, I mean, as I say, I think, I think our game plans and our, and our uh, mindsets are good. I think the surface suited his style of bowling here. Yeah, he got a lot of indifferent bounce. Um, you know, he got a lot of balls to get really big on batters uh, from good, good areas, which made it obviously very tough. But, um, you know, we, we, it's not long ago that we can think back to, to big, big moments in games where we've been able to put him under pressure. Um, as I say, he's obviously in form. He's got a lot of confidence at the moment. And... Um, you know, I think uh, we've just got to find a way to make sure that um, he doesn't bowl as well as he did in this game. Yeah, just expanding on that, I mean, quite a small proportion of his deliveries are actually hitting the stumps. Is the difference just the fear of actual quality? No, I, I, I truly believe, obviously, he's bowling well. Um, I truly believe that the wicket played a big role in, in the success that he had. I mean, the stats, even in the Ashes, say that he picked up a lot of lower order wickets. Um, so, you know, I think the key is now for us is to make sure as a top order that, you know, we can set some big partnerships and hopefully make, make sure that he keeps coming back and bowling and bowling and bowling. And that's going to be the, the keys for us. Graham, the South African team have made a lot of progress mentally over the last couple of years. What are you going to draw on now in terms of being strong in the mind as you go into the rest of the series? Yeah, I think I've sort of answered a lot of that. In, in previous answers, in, in terms of just making good leadership decisions now, um, you know, focusing on the on the right things, not getting caught in sort of the emotion. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of criticism, a lot of fan emotion. Uh, we didn't meet expectations in this game, and that's and I'm, and f we deserve every every bit that comes our way. But it's important now as a team that um, you know we we smart, we make good decisions, and we respond well. Um, and training is one aspect. I think we need to. To train well over the next few days, and we need to, uh, as I say, make make smart decisions. Thank you, everyone.